Hey there, this is Angel from Resolve. And in this quick video, I'll give you an overview of our Procore integration, which recently went live on the Procore marketplace. With the integration for Procore, you can walk through your BIM files before construction is complete. You can use an off-the-shelf VR headset like the Quest Pro or the Quest 2, or very soon the Quest 3, put it on, and then walk through your building files looking for safety issues or accessibility issues, maintenance issues, these things that are not coming up during clash detection, but are still vital to catch before they're way more expensive to fix or can cause delays in your project. So let me show you how it works. Now I'm going to put my Quest Pro on, launch the Resolve app, and then open my project file. Okay, now I'm in the Resolve app and I can see my models that I have linked from various sources. I'm going to launch the robot factory that I just linked from Procore. Now I am in a virtual reality version of my Navisworks file that I just brought into Resolve. We have developed something called the Wellington engine, which allows you to open huge BIM files on a VR headset like this one completely wirelessly. You can see there are no cables connected to my headset. It is all running on the device itself. And we have seen massive uh, manufacturing campuses with lots of dense equipment, and it all runs without a hitch on Resolve. Once I'm in the model, um, I can go through and fly around. There are a lot of tools. I won't go through all of them here. We have other videos where we break that down. But as an example, let's take this duct here, which is a little too low and might be a safety hazard. I can use Resolve's measurement tool to see how much clearance we have here. It's about less than five feet between that step and that uh, corner of the duct, which is pretty dangerous. So I'm going to leave a comment. we need more clearance for the stairs here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I will tag it as a safety issue. And I'm gonna place that right in there. Great, now you can see I've left a comment and it says we need more clearance for the stairs here. This lives within Resolve. You saw how easy it was to do using speech to text. But now I'm gonna take my headset off and I'm gonna show you how Resolve's integration allows you to now bring this comment into Procore as a coordination issue. All right, now that I've returned to the Resolve web dashboard, I'm going to select the annotations section of the model that I was just in. And when I do that, I can see a picture of the element that I just tagged and what I said and a button that says create Procore issue. Now, when I hit this button, it is going to sync this speech to text annotation, which I made in my VR headset to Procore as a coordination issue so that I can assign it to someone and track it through completion. Okay, my issue has now been created and you can see it's been assigned issue number 13. Now, if I click it, it takes me straight to my Procore project where I can see this as a coordination issue. I've got the high res screenshot of what I was seeing in the headset so that we have this for record keeping purposes and all the information associated with this uh, issue. From here, I can use Procore's more advanced issue tracking to set a due date, set uh, an assignee and in different trades to look at it and make sure that it now gets funneled into my normal coordination issue tracking workflow, regardless of whether it came from VR or it came from a clash detection report. This is an issue that we want addressed and we just used Resolve and virtual reality to make sure that we surface this issue as early as possible. This is an overview of Resolve's integration with Procore. You can see it's a powerful end-to-end -end way to review your models in a way that reveals more issues than you might find on a 2D screen or on a screen share. And with Resolve's powerful rendering technology, you're able to bring massive files onto these very easy to use VR devices and review them with your team.
Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments how you like this workflow or improvements that you'd like to see. Until next time.